Every morning I get off this elevator, I come out here, we got the Young and the Restless down there, and the Bold and the Beautiful down here. Here is our first cast photo from 1987. Boom, and then all the way down, all the years, all the cast photos. What year is that? 94. Keep on going. Here we go, 2002. And keep on going. Here we are. Bold and beautiful. Let's do it. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Bold Live. It's uh, November. What is it? November 18th? I think it's the 18th. Yeah. And where's my phone? Oh, this is my phone's right here. It's a busy day. Oh, it's the 19th. Goodness. November 19th. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. I was just testing you. Uh, I'm Casey. Producer here at The Bold and the Beautiful and host of Bold Live. And today, we've got Dr. Finn in the house. Dr. Finn is here via one and only Tanner Novlin. And um, and I, this is his second time here on Bold Live. So um, we're going to get deeper into uh, Tanner's live. And uh, what's up with Finn? Have you been watching the show this week? He just wants to know who his father is. Okay. Just, he knows who his real mother is. He likes his parents, but he just wants to know who his father is. So we're going to talk all about that and um, answer some other questions. So here we go. Three, two, one, bold live. Boom. Hi, I'm Casey. Hey, everybody. I'm looking here. I'm saying hi to Kenneth and Louie and Mona. Mona, you're back. Awesome. Mandy, Tina, Commander Data or Data, however you want to say that. Lisa B., Hi, Casey. Not calling it tonight. Dang, sore throat. Well, it's going around. You take care of that sore throat. Mona literally stopped my dinner prep to make this a call live. Well, thank you, Mona. Are you calling in tonight? Adam, Jerry, might call in for the first time. Well, I don't want you might call in. I say call in, okay? It's okay. So let me tell you it, the call is there's no charge for the call if you're in the United States. If you're outside the United States, uh, there may be uh, standard uh, long distance call rates apply. Uh, some of you have found that out, but I think it was worth every penny, right? Because you get to talk to the stars here at the Bold and the Beautiful. Gregory, Shonda, Mark, CC or CISO, three. Hi, Carolina, Ronald. Good to see you all. Carson, you're amazing, Casey. Oh, Carson, that's really nice of you. Uh, Mona, please, fans, let's not ask Tanner about writer's decisions. LOL. <laughs> Mona, you, you're hitting this one hard already, aren't you? All right. Well, um, so, so we're going to have Tanner is going to be here shortly. Um, for those of you that are new to the show, welcome. This is the, uh, the official bold and the beautiful fan YouTube show. This is the, this is it. You found the official show and we are here live every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific, where you can come on and come out and hang out with your bold and beautiful friends, or as we like to call them, boldies. You can hang out with your boldies, and uh, you get to uh, talk to the cast members, maybe meet some people behind the scenes. Today, we are going to meet a very special person behind the scenes here at the Bold and the Beautiful, so you want to hang out for that. That'll be at the end of the show. And then something we did last week, which um, I'd like to do more, is I'm calling it the after party, where it's just... You can ask me anything you want about the show or me or whatever you want, and I'll try to answer your questions. So um, that's our after party. So we're, we're I'm planning to be here for the next hour. So get comfortable. Um, and if you are not watching this on Friday, November nineteenth, then this is taped. So don't call because I won't I won't I won't be able to answer. So that's that's how that works. Um, okay, I see a lot of you are coming here in the room. So. Uh, I would like to, um, oh, also when you call, very important. So when you call, please say your name and where you're calling from, because we love to know your name, where you're calling from. Say it, say it right away and also get to your question, because if you can do that, we can get more of you, you know, more calls answered or, you know, calls answered, right? So get to the question right away. Also, if you're calling, I'm going to need you to turn down the computer or whatever device you're watching this on so that we don't have that feedback and that you're listening for that call. So we can get right to that call. 
because that makes for a better show for everyone. Right, Mona? I'm sure Mona agrees. Um, all right. So what else are we saying? Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe we're less than a week away from Thanksgiving? I know. I can't believe it. All right. So, well, this this. Do, do they not realize I am busy? I'm doing bold live. I have to I have to email Mark. This is this is crazy. I'm okay. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Tanner? Are you ready? Here we go. Please welcome to Bold Live the one and only Tanner. Hey, look at you. Hey, hey. what's up? What's are up? Are you my father? Casey, are you my dad? Maybe. I, it's it's. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I don't. I. I. I can't give spoilers away. <laughs> but but wait 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 that makes me wonder wait hold on i just have to check something what's that yeah no we found out today we did yeah. find out today we found yeah, out today. Right. Just sure today. That. god forbid i don't want to give out anything but we found out today no, no, no. wow it was a day the big reveal the big reveal but how are you mm -hmm. sir so you you were here all day you worked here then you you ran home so you could do this bold live I did. I'm hiding. I'm hiding in one of the bedrooms. So if you if you hear my daughter, <laughs> she's probably going to have dinner pretty soon. So, yeah, we're just hanging at home now, but uh, happy about the weekend. And then we get a little bit of Thanksgiving coming up. But we have plenty of bold next week, which is really fun because we get lots of Thanksgiving episodes. I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm just excited that we've figured out that we can do this with a computer because your connection looks great. And in fact, uh, Shamika said, oh, my God, he is so handsome. Ten emojis with hearts. So I think that, I think, I think we <laughs> found that this is, you, you know, I'm glad we can go to the computer because that phone was giving us trouble last time. So now it was, good it, connection. it was, it was, it was, it's all, the, it's all the camera work and the, and I'm still in hair and makeup. So I'm, so I still got it going on from, from work today. So that's probably it, Shamika. <laughs> Oh, I, I think you probably look just fine without hair and makeup, so <laughs> I'm not. Thanks, um, everyone, for tuning in. I'm excited to hear from you guys. I, I love interna interacting like this, Casey. I'm, I'm happy we do this on, on Fridays, and I'm glad to well, be Well, if you'd like, I mean, can, time can, now. can you see the comments? If you want to go ahead and start reading some of them, because I really like I really like engaging with the it's fans that way. Creamy. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a lot of words. Yeah, I see that. I <laughs> You guys. We got Caroline. I see Tina. they say, well, they write Jacqueline's pregnancy into the storyline. You know, today know. the story broke that Jackie, I didn't, did you know she's pregnant? I did. Yeah. I've known for, for a little bit, a little, a little while, probably before even you, Casey. Yeah, but, I'm uh, sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm interested to see how we incorporate it. It was really fun last time to, to put it in, into the show, but uh, we're getting a lot of kids. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we a lot know of kids. Let me tell you, we just shot the Christmas episodes, and there were a lot of stockings for those kids. We, there was we a got lot of Kelly, kids. Hayes, Douglas, Beth. There's a lot of there's a lot of love to give between the four of us. Yeah, that that's <laughs> oh, that's a nice way of putting it. That's a really that's yeah, you're right, right. Why are yeah. Kelly and Hayes always sleeping? You you posted you're going to answer these questions. Why the kids? I are mean, sleeping. yeah, that I did, I did. Yeah, I get that a lot. Well, they're always sleeping because we we. I don't want to say that. We're great parents. I mean, you you guys, we, we have all the technology in the world. Those kids are just they're in that back room, relaxed, having all the stories from. And we always have help, which is very nice. We always have a grandma here, or a, or maybe well, if Sheila comes over. But I would say if I lived at the beach, I would probably sleep a lot too because it's so calming yeah. with the waves and everything. It is true. It is true. That's that's why we don't have a lot of kids. It's just the, it's the beach waves. It's the calming the calming sound of the ocean. Okay, so you saw Cinnamon Girl says Doctor Sexy in the house. Shamika, tell Tanner I got the day off just for him. Oh, uh, thank you, Tina. My daughters are in love with Tanner. Oh, you wrote me that. Yeah, thanks for taking the whole day off to to hang out with us. Um. We're going to get into a lot of people. Last week, we had uh, Kimberlyn Brown, who plays your bio mom, on the show. And, and a lot of people mm -hmm. were uh, curious uh, about, I don't know, do you realize your character has a lot of, um, uh, um, Annika just texted me too, by the way. 
And she says, my eyes are blue. They are really blue, but this isn't about yeah, me. Good. But thank you, Annika, for that. Um, uh, and Annika, Annika Noel, who's a uh, loyal viewer of the show. Let's give a shout out to her. Um, hey, Annika. But, uh, but anybody wants to get into your, your other, like your, your siblings. But I want to talk about, speaking of it, Annika just texted me. So, so Finn and Hope had a lot of scenes together. Yeah, Not we did. We had a lot. It was really fun working with with Annika, and uh, yeah, they have they have a lot in common. They have some delinquent parents that are that maybe deserve some second chances here, guys. I mean, are the Foresters and and the Spencers and 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 the Logans not like always giving second chances? So what's wrong with mom and dad, Sheila and Deacon having a second chance? I mean, I don't think it's that out of the yeah. question here, guys. Come on. Well. I mean, they're horrible. Well, they're horrible people. That's why. <laughs> You're saying they haven't shot anybody yet? Yeah, we they're, could get they're, 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 they're horrible people. But how great, how great is that? But, um, well, but and we're I, gonna get, and as we keep going, we and you guys believed them. You guys believed them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we got to remember, there's another element coming up here in a few weeks that we've been taping, and that's Taylor. You're right. So yes. Some Taylor here, guys, and we're we're really we're really heating up and bringing up some great old storylines from the past mixed in with with our new uh, you know the new blood. It's it's really making for some fun fun episodes as we go into the new year. Uh, that I mean that is exciting to kind of round out of uh, all of your. Oh, Annika's stuck in her dressing room waiting to work. Well, we should have Annika on the show then. Actually, oh, we'll we'll check in with her later. <laughs> you, do you know? Do you know production is it's going very slow today. It is. Well, we, we did here. It's a little, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. Even we though shot we're with right. the kids today. Yeah. And sometimes the kids uh, take a little more time because they're, you know, they're kids. And so sorry I if we put you behind, but I'm at home and I'm after this. No, I'm yeah, you, 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 you got out. You got out when uh, you're lucky that you were up first. So you could get out. I did. See that. I was up bright and early this morning. Oh, so I'm seeing a lot of comments. I don't know if our, our viewers know. Yeah. Uh, the character of Taylor uh, Hayes is coming back. Um, be played by a new actress, uh, uh, Krista Allen. But uh, yeah, Taylor mm -hmm. is coming back. So that's uh, and that that you know and, and Taylor is in the medical field. You're in the medical field. Your character. So that's that opens up mm -hmm. all new kind of avenues to explore that. Because also I'm seeing questions here. Like people are concerned you're not working. Why is Finn always home and not working? Well, can I hey, can I break that storyline? All right, I'm going to give you guys an exclusive, okay? We heard you, and there's going to be an entire episode where Finn just files paperwork at his desk at the hospital per your guys' request. I think it's going to be really interesting and riveting stuff, guys. I think you're going to really like it. So watch for that one coming up. Yeah. I agree. Finn should be at work a lot more. <laughs> that, I can't wait for that. That I can't wait. Well, guys, come on, that's gonna be so. That's gonna be boring. You don't want to see Finn doing the rounds at the ER. Come on, all the interesting stuff happens at Forrester Creations. Well, Wait, Finn's working. Finn's working. Um. Uh. Okay. So Annika, <laughs> has, Annika has texted me. She wants to know: Does can Finn forgive his father after this? We don't want to give any spoilers away. It's gonna be. I think. Uh, He's gonna have to be pretty creative to figure out how to get back in, in on the good side of Finn, wouldn't you say? Do you imagine that? Come on, guys, put that on your in your plate for a second. But but That's but a long but time those scenes between life. you and and Ted were really good because I do feel that Ted was trying to protect you, you know, like so. That's why he didn't tell you mm -hmm. about Sheila as your mother, and I don't know, poor but poor Lee, you know, poor your mom, poor Lee, yeah, yeah, and and Finn really goes, yeah, his heart really goes out to Lee and and all this because she's she's really been blindsided by that as well. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see if they can, if they can mend this, but you're right. There's two really strong characters or two really strong points of view about something that happened. And they're both have a right to, you know, have conflict with that. It's, it's a really great storyline. And, and next week it just gets cranked up, especially at the start of the week. Well, I want to go to a couple of video questions because some, <clears throat> sometimes I, Channel run out of time and I'm not up. able to get to the video question. So the first video question, which, oh, I didn't look. Oh, yeah, here it is, is from Kyle. Hello, Tanner and Casey. My name is Kyle Baxter from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 
my question for you, Tanner, is what has been your favorite scene that you have worked on, Bold and the Beautiful, the one scene you felt you delivered at your absolute best? Mm. Oh, I wow, good one. question. Uh, man, there's a ton of them because a lot has happened to, to poor Finn over the wilds. But thanks for the question. And I think, I don't know when I've been, at my, I don't love really watching myself very much, and I, I don't very often, but some memorable ones to be a part of, I say, was Jackie, uh, uh, her addiction storyline, especially when she realized that she had a problem. That was not necessarily, that's a kind of a weird answer because it wasn't a really fun day on set because right. it was really heavy, but boy, it was fun to watch a, a powerhouse JMW go to work like that, you know? Yeah. But that was a really great day. It was fun to shoot <laughs> some of the, um, the baby stuff that was always really sweet with when baby Hayes, although the, although the pool scene was, was a little awkward because we had a little incident in the pool with mm -hmm. the baby. I think I've talked about that before. Yeah, but, go back to the previous bold yeah, live. You can hear about that. That's memorable. That's, that's memorable. We had a little, we had a little poop in the in the, in the tub with the baby. Stage fright. <laughs> stage fright. Little stage fright. Hey, that warm water in there, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't blame baby Hayes. I, I, I might do it too. <laughs> but yeah, th yeah, those are kind of some of the memorable memorable days on set. Um, but every I, day is. I'd have to say, I thought. I really liked uh, your performance uh, on location when um, when you proposed to Steffi. Oh, yeah, I thought those were yeah, really that was really, really sweet. Scene. Yeah, yeah, to shoot at the actual Cliff House um, and all those like exteriors. Even though it was with my wife, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I proposed again to my wife because at that point we still had those strict COVID uh, guidelines, and so we couldn't be close to Steffi. So we had to use Kayla as a double that day. Uh, which was really sweet and also very weird, but you know, it was like a renewal of the vows. I'm just, I'm thinking about something too, Tanner, like Jack, when we shot those location scenes, Jackie was pregnant in those. Oh yeah. That, that, Jackie that, was full on big, you know, ready to pop pregnant. Uh, Kayla was, <laughs> but she had, but Jackie stuff, had a big like coat on that kind of covered her up. And then Kayla, yeah, your wife. Yeah. Was yeah. We're still the coats and belts guys, coats and belts. See if you can spot them. And uh, yeah, we were doing every camera trick in the book, especially um, on those type shots. Yeah. So I do say, I think I, I did better at my proposal on location as Finn to my wife, Kayla, than I did in real life. So that I got kind of like a free redo, which was really nice. You know, I got to, you guys wrote these beautiful words for me to say on the day when I proposed to Kayla, I had something very yeah. prepared We and it we just came out as, we should have, we should have uh, done, yeah, we should take that footage and then you can show that to your daughter when she's older, like the mommy exactly, and daddy. Exactly. Wow, you guys are so, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this where is did great. You, where, oh, yeah. But wait, this where did you good. propose to Kayla? I, uh, I took her out on a, on a little uh, sailboat with the captain. I don't know how to sail. And um, we did it at sunset out there. And so I had, I didn't write anything down. But I had an idea of like, I'll tell her how I feel. I'm better off the cuff anyway. And I'll start with something like life is like an ocean where you can have, it can be turbulent and or calm and beautiful. And no matter what it's like that day, I want to go through life from like that with you. Right. That sounds like a good start. And yeah. I got to on one knee and I was at the bow and I said, life is like an ocean. And she said, what? And I was, and I got nervous and I was like, uh, it, and I, I was like, scrap, and I just said, I love you very much. I really want you to be my wife. Will you marry me? So I scrapped the whole thing. It didn't work out. So never I, I need yeah. a laugh out of Kayla. I just look at her. It's like, well, life is like an ocean. And then we smile at each other. You probably heard yourself out loud and you're like, this, it didn't come out. Yeah. Yeah. I need, I need you guys more than you know. But that's, but that's like, yeah, you're like, this is stuff that only happens on soap operas where they, you know, were, were they? Oh, Cecil, that was a good one too. She's right. You wrote that when I told Liam off. Yeah, that was fun too. Oh, that was when, awesome. Was, yeah, when you when you first came on, you were getting huge rave, rave reviews because finally somebody was telling Liam. You know, yeah, poor Liam. It was fun to rock to rock that. You know, split up that crazy cycle those guys were in. Yeah, so, you. Yeah, brought, that was you, you that too. It's always fun when Finn kind of you know gets some real meat and can really dig in because he kind of he plays it pretty cool for the most part. He's not as emotional as a lot of guys. He's a little more clinical. But yeah. then if it gets to a point, man, that guy. 
Bye bye. Well, now I've got a I got another question from Patty. Hey, Tanner, I'm Patty from Switzerland, and my question is: I know you have a lot of lines and dialogue, but is there still room for improv? If yes, can you have a little example of an ad lib that made it on air? Goodbye, love Finn, and love the show. Oh, thanks, Patty. So she's like, hey, you, Patty. How often do you stick to the script, or do you or can you ever improvise? We, you guys make us stick pretty, pretty close to that script. Um, sometimes we work, rework, you know, some of the words if, if something's a little bit off, but we, we stick pretty close to the script, which is uh, great, crazy because I'm the Liberty Biberty guy. So, you know, I'm doing pretty good considering. I think, do you still, do you still get called out for that? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. All the time. So you're, you're, you're getting coffee or something and people will, Hey, aren't you Liberty Biberty? It's still, it hasn't aired oh, in like a year and I'm still, I'm still a little, a little bit, but I think I'm getting a lot, lot more Dr. Finn now, which is nice. Yes. Good. That's what mm -hmm. we want yeah. more Dr. Dr. Finn. All right. Well, now I'm going to open up those fan lines. Uh, this is our number five, seven, three, three, seven, five, nine, two, seven, eight. Um, I'll give the fans, well, they're already calling. So we're going to keep this party moving and let's answer. The <laughs> let's see who it is. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, how are you? Hi. Who's this? This is Gina from hey. Frankfurt, New York. Hey, Gina. Say hi to Tanner. Hey, Gina. How are you doing? Hi, Tanner. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm enjoying, starting to enjoy my Friday. How That's about you? That's wonderful. You got a question? I am so happy. That I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm happy to talk to you too, Gina. I'm just turning my volume down so I can hear you. Um, I'm actually uh, at the casino right at the moment, and I'm doing Ooh. very well, and I think you're my luck. Oh, yeah, baby. Seven. So, Gina, what are you playing? Yes, yes. Are you playing slot machines? Um, I'm playing Money Link. Money Link. And uh, I got some good luck uh, charms from my neighbor, who usually is on when I'm on with you both live. But he's not with me right now, so he says to say hello. His name's Jim. He loves the show now. He'll call me up and say, it's 1.30. you got to come over and watch the show with me? And I go, yeah, sure. And I said, oh, I said, Finn is just so good looking. I said, I would just love to be married to him on the show. But well, my I'm question is, do you think that ever, I mean, you were so good looking when I first seen you, but you think that there might be a thing with you and Hope, maybe, because you guys are connected with uh, Sheila and, you know, and then her um, Deacon? Yeah, I think they definitely have, like, something uh, in common, for sure, about that. Um, but you never know with our show. I mean, everyone loves everyone, so and nothing is out, of the, is out of the out of the question. But I think right now he's very um, very focused on Steffi. I think his, his, his heart's pretty pretty uh in the, into the family mode and and he wants to be such a good father to Hayes um but yeah yeah you never know but I love that that calling in on Friday is your good luck your superstition to, to at the casino I dig that yeah and I was also wondering because you played the doctor on show does anyone ever ask you like oh Finn you know if I have something wrong like if they have something wrong with them they're like hey Finn you know what can I um, do for this? Like if, because the fact if, that if I'm on a plane and then you are a doctor, doctor online, I go help somebody. No, no, I should probably let someone actually do what they need to do. But um, have you ever said yeah, I'm not a doctor? Because I think you I would make a one, good doctor. I play one on TV. I think it would make a good. Yeah, doctor. but I, I think you would be a good doctor. Thing. I think so too. I would I, have I, you I, take care of me. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, it's a family show. I. Hey, you remember now, I uh, I do do house calls. I know, I know, I love it. I just think I, I just think you're great for the show. I hope you stay on. I've been watching it from day one, so since the very, very, very beginning. So I'm like an old, I don't know if you want to call an old boat live fan, but it's just amazing. I just want to uh, say it's just great oh. and happy Thanksgiving. Oh, you too. And happy I am so glad that I got to talk to you. This no, is amazing. I am so happy. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, you have a big night tonight. Let's go. 
Yeah, Gina, we thank you very big. much. Win big, and thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Yep, I'm still watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. I can bye -bye. just picture Gina there in a slot machine with the phone in one hand, and she's she's betting on the the, the other hand. Well, it's you know what? I love people that can multitask. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And she's what I'd call a a, a golden bull. <laughs> I, don't know, oh. I made that up kind of. Hi, right. welcome to Bold Life. Say hi to Tanner. Hello. Hi, what's your hi. name? Where are you calling from? Um, my name's Aaron. I'm calling from Missouri. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Van? I'm, I'm wonderful. How are you? Nice to talk to you. Oh, it's, it's nice to talk to you, too. Are, are, you, are, you, are you running? No, I'm not. I've oh. been waiting outside for this call for 25 minutes now, and it's freezing. Oh, so. oh. Thanks for waiting so long, huh? Well, well hopefully the good doctor, it, doctor can warm you up. Just make sure. uh, uh, Casey, you I question? wanted to tell you something. Yeah, what's that? Um, a few weeks ago, you had the Queen Kimberlyn Brown on. And uh, my cousin Cashton called in for me because oh. I was sick with COVID and couldn't speak very well. Okay. Um, who are the ones? Who are the ones making the T-shirts? I'm not sure if you remember or not. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Thanks for doing that. Wait, how yeah, cold so is it? I'm worried. I yeah, who are you? I'm from Canada, and I'm like, I I relate. I relate to this. Can you go inside? <laughs> Uh, I can't. I'm kind of doing this call in secret. Oh, oh, uh oh! Don't run up the phone bill. <laughs> no, well, she's in Missouri, no. so no. It's, wait, wait, you're not allowed to use the phone. I am. I just um. Well, uh, I don't know how my dad would react to me doing this, so. Oh, uh, it's kind of a totally secret thing. Okay. Well, okay. Well, but do do you have anything you want to say to Tanner? Uh, yes, I do. Um. I have a question for you that only you could answer. Oh, okay. um, I want to know, is it true that Liberty Mutual really will customize my car insurance so I only pay for what I need? <laughs> well done. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> I, I have to well, admit, I've been that. practicing that for three days straight, so I hope I said it better than you did. <laughs> that was beautiful. You, that was said it, you said it so much, so much better than I ever could. You crushed it. <laughs> that's that's you're very funny. <laughs> I like well, that. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's funny. Yeah. Did you get? Do you get? Do you? Are, do you did you get any bonus? Like like uh, Liberty Mutual? No, like, guys. I just. <laughs> They give you any discounts? I'm not a real doctor, and I didn't get any free free insurance. <laughs> That's oh, well. Yeah, I love it. I'm, I love you guys. Love, love that. Thank commercial. you so much for watching and for calling and being such a big fan. Yeah, no, go inside. Yeah. And come up. Oh yes, believe me, I will. All okay, right. you have Thanks, a good weekend. Guys. Thanks for calling in. You too. God bless. Right. You too. Oh man, I I. I'm man, glad. I'm, I'm glad she's okay. Man, I was a little concerned, yeah. but and I hope her dad doesn't find out. I, uh, I know. I know. I'm gonna but call if you're in trouble. Just DM me, and I'll I'll talk to dad and tell him. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Casey. This is Tina. Hi, Tanner. I'm in from Leesburg, hey. Virginia. Hey, How Tina. How are you? Thanks for calling. Oh, it's pretty cold up here in Virginia. Mm. We had 70 yesterday, and today's like 30, 40. Oh, yeah, I, I remember overnight. that. Well, we I like the weather that. updates, especially Mona loves when we talk about weather updates. Right, Mona? She loves it. That's a good fan from Canada. But do you have, you have a question for uh, Tanner? Yes, I do. If you and Stephanie don't work out, which you know how the shows go, they one week you're married, the next week you're married to somebody else. So who would you want them to really put you with? On the show, Ooh. maybe uh, Thomas. <laughs> uh, well, he cut his hair now, so maybe not so much. I don't know. <laughs> There's no no spoilers allowed here. No spoilers allowed. You almost tricked me. You almost tricked me. I don't know. The chemistry well, but, between but, but Gina, and, I mean, 
are, is pretty pretty undeniable. So it's going to be a, so there's going to have to be a big mistake to crack that. No, but poor Thomas, he does need to get with somebody, you know. Well, he's yeah. trying. You know, he's somebody trying. He's trying. Somebody that's real. <laughs> But uh, so one out. more quick thing I wanted to ask you: What do you think about working and being Sheila's son? Isn't that amazing to work with her? Yeah, it's really fun to to be opposite, uh, you know, legend Kimberlyn Brown. It's it's it is fun. It adds a little spice, you know, and uh, not a oh, lot, a, a little a lot, definitely. a lot. And um, yeah, Kimberlyn, Kimberlyn's really the best, and uh, and it's really fun to to watch her work and watch her manipulate. Boy, she works the gears, right? Oh, she's excellent. Yeah. And you couldn't you couldn't have a better mom. Oh yeah. Well, thank you for answering my questions. And listen, I'm sure everywhere you walk, you have all the girls' heads turning. Hey, now. <laughs> Married yeah. man. Married man, no, Tina. but the girls still have eyes. They look. <laughs> oh, look at that are. handsome guy. Good-looking <laughs> guy. Keep Thanks, it up. Tina. Thank Thanks, you, Tina. Thank you, your family. Appreciate Bye-bye it. now. Bye-bye. All Bye-bye. right. Tina. Well, we, first we had Gina, and then we had Tina. I don't know the name of the girl in between who was, I just call her. She was, she's cold. Hi, welcome to a bold life. Well, hello there. <laughs> hey, it's Rebecca. I know Rebecca. that voice. I can name uh, that hey, voice. Rebecca. Yep. Hello. Hi, Tanner. Nice to talk to you. Hi again. You too. I was the one that asked you about Liberty Liberty last time. <laughs> I remember. I remember. My question. Yep. <laughs> My question today is, is there anything in your career that you still would like to accomplish in the future? Oh, I love that question. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, right now I'm so, I'm having so much fun uh, with, with Bold and the Beautiful that I, I'm really kind of finding a nice groove and, and home here. But um, yeah, it's always fun to like go back to like some comedy would be fun eventually if, if maybe we have some some time off on the show or something like that, you know, had so much fun with that commercial that, you know, doing some sitcoms or something like that would be kind of fun, but I don't know, man, it's pretty tough to beat, uh, to beat working on bold and the beautiful. Yeah. Nice. To talk yeah. To you again. <laughs> and that's, and that's the answer he has to give when a producer is hosting the show. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that, you know, that, thank you, Tanner. Big... You did a good job. You answered that... it correctly. Like this it's is 100% it. true. Though. This is, there's not, it's 100% true. there's nothing true. We're back. And, um, you have a great holiday, Rebecca. Yeah, you too. Right. Hey. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, we got a lot of a lot of callers here. Uh, hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your, what's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Sam from Florida. Sam, hey, Sam. is this your first hi, time? Casey. And hi, Tanner. Hey, how are you? Thanks for calling in. I'm doing very well. I'm the one that took the day off for you. Hey, well, girl, thank you. It's and, nice to talk to you. And I don't regret it. I have lots of questions, so I'm going to be quick. Hit it. First one yeah, is, go. where is Finn and the Finnegans from? You know what? I don't think that's ever officially been established, but I remember uh, Naomi and, and, and Ted and I were all kind of like, we feel like Midwesterners, so we, we kind of like, we're like Chicago, if I don't remember right. But I don't think it's ever been established in any of the writing or stuff like that, but we kind of felt like... That sort of vibe. I don't know. Am I that off? Yeah, you're kind of off because I was getting the vibe of like East Coast, um, you know, upper class East Coast, you know, the Ivy League types. I can see that too. That might fit too. Yeah, I like that better. Maybe we should and change that. Maybe I'll, I'll go to sit and I'll tell them, guess what, guys? We're, we just moved the family. I'm taking notes. I got it. Yeah, I kind of like that. I got it, Sam. Okay, what's your next question? Um, who's playing the piano deep down in your Instagram? Is that you? That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, Tanner. Oh God. You just got. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I love Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. I'm, um, I'm classically trained, uh, pianist. I took it. <gasps> what? Yeah. All through, all through high school. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just what? waiting to like show up John McCook one day. Wait, does I Brad know this? John bang the ivories. Wait, I think so. yeah. I got to tell Brad this so we can put it in the show. Yeah, there yeah, we go. I can, uh, yeah, I read, yeah, I can read music. And uh, yeah, thanks to my mom. I did not love it. She told me I would love it one day. 
And I said it would never happen because it was all classical music. And that's not cool to play when you're like 15 or 16. But I'm so grateful now because I can literally uh, play any, play anything. Yeah. Not that I'm not already beautiful. jealous of you, but now you play the piano. That's, that's <laughs> great. I know, right? He's just getting better and better. I know. Well, and maybe at the Christmas party this year, John and I can do something. We'll see. I'd love. Although I haven't played, honestly, I haven't played in a, in a, in a little in a long time, which is I've been so uh, uh, with my daughter so much. She takes up so much of my time. Do you have a Do you have a piano at home? At I do. I do. I don't. I I have like a, I have like a keyboard. Okay. Okay. And I love to play. Yeah. Very cool. All right, Sam, your next one. Um, what's your favorite song right now? My favorite song? Yep. What are you jamming oh, to right geez. now? What's your favorite? Mm. I mm -hmm. love, uh, oh God, I don't know. I go on, so here, let, here, let's see. Hold on. Let's see what I stream. Hold okay. on. This will be great. Don't worry. Yeah. Look at look at his eyes. I see what you see. His eyes Tell light up. Me. I mean, right now though, you know, it's all about Adele. She's no, I'm like into this. No, I, I love um Anderson Pack, he's like one of my favorite artists. Um, and I, but I'm all over the place. I love country music too. And uh, Alabama Shakes, Brittany Howard, she's mm. like one of my one of my all time favorites. And so, those are like my kind of three bands. But my favorites, yeah, I figured I kind of just throw it on Spotify and like let it let it roll. So, I don't know, a little bit of the baby too that gets me going. If I got to work out, I work out to rap. Well, what I what I listen to, I just say Alexa, oh. Alexa play sad yeah. songs, and that's what I listen oh. to. <laughs> yeah, you want to know what my favorite song is? Right? Well, it's not my favorite song, but there's a lot of Coco Melon in my house, man. Oh, <laughs> what is Coco that? Melon. I don't have kids. What is Coco Melon? Is, it is all all nursery rhymes, and uh, that's all that plays in my head around my house nowadays. But I see that yeah. merchandise everywhere, like or toys for Coco Melon. Yeah, we should just do Coco Melon. This is Coco Melon. All right, Sam, mm -hmm. I'll give you one more question since you took the day off. Good, because I only had two yeah. more. Um, Your boss Anna, is the how best, many by days the way. Straight, oh, thank you. Um, how many days straight did you go shirtless or partially shirtless this summer? I don't know, guys. You're going to have to tab that up because... Uh, you, well, you mean, you mean at home or on the show? On the show. No, on the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I was, how uh, many days straight... Our wardrobe include no shirt. Okay. There's a lot of surfing, wasn't there? A lot of surfing, a lot of coming back from the run. Yeah, this guy Casey, he comes up with all sorts <laughs> yeah. of ideas. No, it's it's in the writers. It. I mean, there's a there's um there's a network quota that uh, we have to make. <laughs> oh, so, no. Well, I am great quota. Yeah. So it's <laughs> yeah. um so it's like I didn't did wasn't there a show where you like come back from surfing, but it's nighttime. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, that sounds about we, right. we needed you to come back without a shirt. So yeah, that, that the directors right. are like, but it's nighttime. What's he doing surfing? Well, well and then it's a full moon. And then not only was I naked in real life, but then I'd have to be naked in Paris's fantasies. And so yeah, the, sorry, there's a lot of naked fin going on. So yeah. well, Sam, I, I, I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you did something. <laughs> Well, Sam, you're thank you so well, much for calling. I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I can't wait to do talk with you again, Tanner. And Casey, oh, thank man, you for bringing so nice him to us. You. You're welcome. Have a good uh, yes, I'll talk with you again soon. All right. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Well, she is. Uh, I think we have people that are really. Um, they really love you. They they love you. They really really love you. Wait. Oh, hi. <laughs> and I have a question to ask. But uh, what's your name? What you're calling from? Hello. Hi. Um. Um. Antonio. Uh, Antonio. Antonio and, uh, from um, South Dakota. Yeah. Hi. Yep. You got it. Say hi to Tanner. Um. And hi, I have Antonio. a yeah, hi Tanner. And, uh, hi. Um. Uh. I love you. And uh. And I have a a big heart uh, to you. And uh. Um. My question for you is um. Um, how many uh, siblings do you have on the show? Ooh, you! I well, f see, that's a whole other you know box unravel because little does Finn know. I think I have two. Is that not right, Casey? Yeah. Uh, no, we discussed this uh, two weeks ago when Kimberlyn was on the show that you actually have uh, three other siblings, maybe four. Three. No, four, four. I have four other siblings. Yeah, Mary, but apparently Erica, Daisy, and Ryder. So, 
You're, and apparently Finn's the favorite uh, because I'm the only one that talks to Sheila. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> I don't know. You could be that there's maybe uh, you maybe have a younger sister and they're all older. I don't know. I don't know. This is one of the nice things about playing Dr. Finn is I don't know any of this. And so I get to find out with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but see, the thing is, two of those kids were created by Brad and the other two were created on Young and the Restless. So it's a weird. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Hybrid. So in the thing. universe, there's four. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, uh, when do you get to meet them? I don't know. That'd be interesting, though, huh? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Antonio, I, I'm yes, sorry. I have to keep moving on the phone line because we're running out of time. But thank you for calling. Thanks for calling, Antonio. Me. Important. I appreciate your call. All right. Well, thank you, Antonio. Let's see. So wait. So Tanner, last weekend you were out of the country. I was. Yeah, I saw. I, I saw these amazing kind of photos London. on your uh, social media, Instagram. You were in like London. I was in London, and then uh, I was in Liverpool. My uh, my wife Kayla uh, went to the Comic Con in in Liverpool, and then little did I know, uh, Sean Cam was there. I with, wanted to ask Ford you that. And I wanted, they, did you meet up? Did you see him? No, I, I missed. And granted, they they had really big, long, full days, and I just yeah. I just went as as a tag along with Kayla and had a little bit of mom and dad time. Yeah, and. Uh, I, I didn't miss him, but I saw him in, in hair and makeup today. And we were like, were you? And I was like, no. yeah, I was. And he's like, I saw him. I was like, oh, you know, would have been nice. That's to, so to, crazy. That's so cool. There, but it's cool. That's awesome. Well, that is a place. Fun. I, I saw my bucket list to go to London. I have not been there yet. Oh, you let me know. And I'll. I'll yeah, I'll, let me know. All right. Hi, really welcome cool. to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, Mr. Casey. Hello, uh, Mr. Tanner. This is Jared Hi. calling from Gulfport, Mississippi. Hi, Jared. All right. What's going on? How y'all doing this evening? All, all is well. How y'all doing this evening? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for calling in. Oh, no problem. It's always my pleasure. And hello to everybody in the chat. I hope everybody's doing well tonight. We're doing okay. It's a Friday. We're excited. It's the weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always the weekend. It's always the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so, I like that. So, Jerry, how long have you been watching Bold and Beautiful? Oh, um, oh man. I've been watching Bold and Beautiful since... Uh, I know it debuted in 1987 in March. But I didn't start watching it until I, like, I was, it, it was uh, 2010 or 2011. Okay. You know, because sometimes when I, when I was younger, I used to watch it. Around summer vacation time, but you know, with school and stuff, so I have to, you know, I have to get get that taken care of. So, but I've been watching it since twenty ten to twenty eleven. So, what what are, what are you liking right now on the show? Well, I just watched the, uh, the show earlier this week uh, about uh, Santa uh, playing uh, Finn, uh, trying to figure out who his biological father is, and. And when I noticed, I saw uh, uh, Mr. Ted Ken, because I remember Ted from uh, from General Hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, he plays an awesome role as Jack. So to find out that uh, that that uh, Jack has been real life father. And That's pretty wild, huh? Shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You imagine, you imagine that? Seeing a guy you've raised your whole life and then jump be your real dad yeah it's gonna get pretty juicy here coming up next week yeah yeah i can i can i can hardly wait to see it man but 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 like i said i was i was a rich i, I was a uh and i know i'm a big fan of the the, ori the originals on the on the show and uh mr Casey, you're doing an awesome job as a producer and, and, and shout out to the rest of the team and all to the act all to the Thanks. Actors and the actresses, y'all, 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 killing it every day. So, oh, Jerry, well, thank you so much. I will let everybody know, and uh, we appreciate it. And you know, we do it for fans like you. Yeah, thanks for being with us yeah, for so uh, long. I, I just want to ask, I just want to ask one question. Uh, Go I, for I, it. I, especially the Santa, because because when I when I saw because I, I remember the Liberty Mutual commercial. Every time <laughs> yeah. I look at it, I say, and then, and then when he got all all rolled and beautiful, I'm like, wait a minute, I know that guy. <laughs> but uh but mr Casey, i heard you mention uh uh krista allen i i, I do remember her from uh 
uh, Married with Children and uh, Liar Liar, the movie with uh, Jim Carrey. So I, mm. I, I remember it very well. But I think she recently did um, Days of Our Lives. And now I heard she's playing uh, the role of, uh, of Taylor, Taylor. Uh, Hayes Forrester. Yeah. Which is originally by Hunter Tyler. Because I remember, I, I remember Hunter for years. Yeah. Along with Captain Kevin Lane. So. I, I I I know her for a, a good minute, so I know she's gonna play an awesome role coming uh, December. Yep, yeah, we're we're excited. She's, she's really amazing too. Chris is really fun. Yeah. Well, Jerry, she's thank you so it. much. Yes, you have a great weekend, and we also appreciate shout out to uh, also shout out to Jacqueline McGinnis Wood. I heard she had another. I heard I heard you having getting ready to have another baby, so that's that's my girl too, man. Yeah. That, that girl is fun to watch. Jacqueline McGee yeah. is very fun to watch. I love her so much. Yeah. Well, 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 thank you so much, Jerry. You have a great night. Nice to talk to you, man. You too. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Y'all be blessed. Right. You too. Well, that's right. So what are your plans for Thanksgiving, Tanner? We're hosting. You're hosting? Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, we got the whole fam bam. Both sides are coming over. There's like. There's gonna be uh well it's our immediate family but yeah, yeah. we're all gonna we're all we're all hosting and and cooking the and I feel cooking. I feel like this Thanksgiving things are a little bit more calm you know and uh, mm -hmm. things uh, compared to last Thanksgiving so yeah it's, it was a it was a pretty it was a high you know the hybrid kind of inside outside that sort of thing yeah now, right right more, it was. Uh, cool and everyone's you know on a different level now so it's gonna be fun to get everybody together but yeah everyone's at our houses so uh so yeah the the, the passing of the torch has happened so. now are you are you cooking everything or do you are you hybrid oh, yeah. half bought half buying and well it's kind of a we're yeah we're we're cooking everything and then you know the grandma might bring the pies and yeah. you know the aunt and brother or sister might bring some mashed potatoes so it's a little bit of a potluck thing but all the all the big stuff and the bird and the stuff and stuff that all be we'll be on it we'll be here well, it's going to be a lot of fun to get everyone together. Well, that's awesome. All right. Well, Tanner, so I want to, um, you know, today we're losing a crew member here at the Bold and the Beautiful. She's yeah. moving on. So, Lisa. So this, so I want to bring her in. This is the, 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 the Bold Life uh, fans have asked, hey, we'd like to meet people behind the scenes. So I want everybody to meet Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Did the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you're doing this. This is Lisa Long, hair, she's our hair. amazing hairstylist who's been here for over five years, and uh, we just want to wish you congratulations as you moving on from the bold and the beautiful, and thank you for making everybody look so beautiful over the years. Yes, this is the G right here. Oh my gosh, I am so thankful and so grateful. It's been an amazing ride. Um, I've learned so much. I've made so many amazing friends, and it's I, I'm I'm gonna miss this place. And you know, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm moving on to new things, but I'm gonna definitely miss the bold and the beautiful and Tanner and Chris and and the other Chris and all the actresses and stuff. It's I, I I'm I'm very excited. <laughs> I love so, your hair. This is, I, I love this that I'm interviewing you as our our key hairstylist, and you're getting your hair done. That's amazing. Well, it's our time. It's because I never get my hair done. That's yeah. why. So now I get to see what it's like to have your hair done by the bold and beautiful oh, hair team, and, I, and, I, and I, get my makeup hair. done by the amazing Chris Lai Johnson. And do you do you want to, Tanner? You probably don't know this, but before Lisa worked here at the Bold and Beautiful, uh, she was my hairstylist that I would go to to have my hair cut. So I knew her like years before she worked here. Oh, and awesome. then she worked down the street on third street. And then one day she said, I'd like to get into the business. And I'm like, Oh, well, let me talk to somebody. And she started doing survivor uh, uh, reunion and uh, Y and R. And then she came over to bold and beautiful. So it's, Oh, that's awesome. It's been really cool. Yeah. And, and Casey used to come in, get his hair cut and talk about, you know, everything that was going on at Bold and Beautiful. I'm like, oh my gosh, really? That sounds so exciting. Well, I'm off to oh Paris. I'm okay, off to yeah. Italy. Yeah, I'm doing all these cool things. He was jet setting to Monaco, yeah. to Italy, to Australia. They were traveling around doing fashion shows and stuff. No, it was, I was like, you know what? I, I want to be a part of that. And Me here too. I am. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, someday Tanner happen? will travel again someday. What does this happen? <laughs> someday, I know. Oh my God. I know. Well, 
who's been who's been uh like what's been your most like your favorite episode or sequence of things to work on um my favorite episodes to do were probably um our fashion shows mm -hmm. and probably the most exciting and the probably the hardest and the most difficult were episodes through covid where we had to do the mannequins and all the wigs we had to do so that that is the stage manager uh they're calling yeah. actors to set yep that's yep. what you're hearing that is it. we hear it in our room we are actually at the um, studio this is live uh -huh. this is live this is live tv but yes mm -hmm. um i think the hardest part was through covid when we had to do like all the mannequins and all the different um we had to do significant others of each of the cast members tanner as you know because tanner's yeah. wife Kayla yeah. came in yeah. and we had to you know have a matching wig to look all like jackie and a, a double and yeah and but everything else is it's behind the scenes is where all the magic happens and um it really no, is. it's great. I'm, I'm going to miss this place. It really is. We have so many laughs, you guys, like in the hair and makeup. It's one of my favorite things to come to work every day and, and know that everyone's so positive and so happy. And and uh, you really start the day off because that's where we all start. And if you start off in a grumpy mood there, the day's not going to go very well. And so she, you're the one who sets, sets the tone for the whole day. So we're going to miss you. Thank you so much. Yes, our room is usually the room where all the cast hang out. And then we have producers like Casey calling, hey, have you seen so-and-so in your room? And I'm like, go over there. Because we have the fun room to hang out. Oh, okay. like, go, go, go. Just because you're leaving, don't give away all our secrets. Yeah. Oh, well, the, okay. the little secret is in this business, you need to make good friends with the hair and makeup uh, crew because Absolutely. they know everything. So if you need to know as we a producer what's going everything. on, you have to like, you know, butter up the hair and makeup crew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, but no, the hair and makeup room is probably the best room to be in because we get all the, we get all the good stuff. That's true. That's true. You know everything. Yeah, we should. Get we her know all, everything. They get her off the screen. Everything. Don't see, don't you say too much. But we won't yeah. say too much. There can also be a lot of lot of uh. Well, there's there's just a lot. It's it's a very hectic place at the studio because there's like only so much time to get ready. So that's keeping things calm and you and 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 consistent and uh, continuity. Uh, you've done a great job, Lisa, and we're really going to miss you. So, just wanted to say you know goodbye. What? I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss each and every one of you, and thank you for this opportunity. I am so grateful and so thankful for everyone, and I've met so many friends here that I'm going to continue on, you know, friendships with after the show. But nothing is forever, so I'll. I'm going to be popping in here and there, helping <laughs> out with fashion shows and weddings and all that good stuff. I'll still be here. My heart is here. This well, is and I know, and I, and I, and I, and I keep, I, I'll pray for your ultimate goal to move to Hawaii, maybe Hawaii. someday. That's your goal. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I know that's your happy place. So I hope that's that works. Grumpy. Hope that happens. I want to work and live there. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, well thank you, Lisa. Now get back to work. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, Lisa. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Well, Tanner, the best. I thank you for being here. Yeah, man. Before we before we go, though, I oh. like to do our fan roll call. This is the moment where um, I'm going to ask. So you, you uh, people watching, the fans watching, hi. Thank you for still being here. This is amazing. I, I'm going to ask you to please start typing in your name. So just your first name only. Nothing else. Just type in Steve or Mary or Tom, you know. And then as... Um, uh, uh, the names come on the screen. Tanner is going to say hello. So yeah, uh, let's get those let's get those names going. So in there, here we oh go. There's gosh, Alice, Alice, and Kenny. Hey Darnell. Hey Darnell. <laughs> oh, there you go, Ray. Hey Kenny. Regina. Tanner from Regina. Nice Thomas. Oh, it's super fast. Mandy and Lisa. Sam. 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 I see you, Sam. <laughs> Donna, Sarah, I'm getting back. Greg, Sharif, Brittany, Darnell, Betty, love from Trinidad, Candace, Susan, Danny, Betty, Antonio, Mandy, Ari, Sam, 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 you guys are repeating. Johnny, Antonio, Carmen, Rebecca, Marlene, Soap Goddess, Kathy Lee, Margaret, Soap Goddess, Margaret, wow, Bruno, 
Trish, Antonio, Jay Z. Wow. Tina, all right. Me. And time. All right. Excellent. Wow. Tina, Marlene, and. And Wait, then I got, I, I got a last minute email from Ani, and it's uh, Ani's birthday tomorrow, and she would appreciate it if the good Dr. Finn could wish me happy birthday. She turns, or uh, turns, who's, is it? Ani turns 34 tomorrow, but I'm spending my birthday in isolation because I have a cold. So, oh, Ani, oh, that's all right. Say happy, happy birthday, birthday to Ani. Ani. Hey, I hope you get to hang out and have a great birthday binge watching all your favorite shows, binge catch up on some bold. Well, we are going to keep tuning in. Uh, you know, just a programming note, we only have three Bold and Beautiful episodes next week. We are preempted because of football and Thanksgiving and things on Thursday and Friday. So we're only on Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, But you got to yeah, tune in because more, more drama with Dr. Finn. Yeah, we get to see how this settles out. Well, you'll see. Yeah, if it settles out. And then my last question is, what time is dinner at your house? I just need to know what time to dinner? be there. Oh, my daughter dictates dinner. So whenever she's, it's like six thirty. We're early birds now, man. Yeah, that changed. We used to be night owls. You have one child, and all of a sudden, you, sorry, you're you're in bed by eight thirty. Like, <laughs> well, Tanner, thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll come back. And um, this was really fun. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your enjoy your week off. Well deserved. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for all the questions, you guys. And thanks for tuning in and being such great supporters uh, at Dr. Finn. And I'll, I'll talk to you soon. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Well, there you have it. That's uh, That was Tanner. What a great guy. Really awesome. And I really, I really want to thank all of you for your amazing questions and phone calls. Um, that was a lot of fun. You guys, I really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you uh, coming back week after week to be a part of this uh, bold live and uh, hang out with us and kind of get a pull back the curtain and get to know a little bit more about what's happening here at the Bold and the Beautiful. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Bold and the Beautiful channel on YouTube, what are you waiting for? Because that is how you're going to get notifications and be in the know when videos are uploaded. I mean, did you realize season one uh, is uploaded on YouTube? of The Bold and the Beautiful. You can go back way to the beginning, back to 1987, 35 years ago, to see the first episodes. And uh, we're up uploading new episodes every week, so um, you want to make sure you tune into that. We are up to over 223,000 subscribers, and uh, we want to keep it going. Uh, we want to try to get to a million. So we need you to subscribe, subscribe. Oh, everybody's saying Happy Thanksgiving. That's so nice. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Um, and I'm just going to hang out with you and uh, if you guys have any questions about the show, I'm just going to kind of kind of chat for a little bit here. Um, Johnny, oh, thank you very much. Um, Kenneth's having fun with the throwbacks. Yes. Um, Susan, have a relaxing Thanksgiving weekend, Casey. Well, I hope so. Uh, but it's hard because all I do is think about the bold and the beautiful. Like what? What? How do we how do we keep making this show um a great show, but I'll, I'll, I'll stop thinking about it on Thursday and Friday to enjoy the Thanksgiving weekend. Um, what was I going to say? So this week at the Bold and the Beautiful, we shot our Christmas and New Year's uh, Eve episodes. So we are doing Christmas. We're also doing Thanksgiving. Oh, that's what I meant to ask Tanner about. Well, you'll see it. We have a Thanksgiving episode on Wednesday. Um, it's, I think it's probably our best Thanksgiving episode ever. I'm really excited about it. Uh, uh, there's there's some cool parts to it. So it's different than the past Thanksgiving episodes where everyone sits around the table and says uh, something nice about each other, which, you know, you should do. But this episode is a little bit different. So we celebrate Thanksgiving. So I hope you all tune in to watch that episode on Wednesday or um, maybe tape it and save it and watch it on Thanksgiving as, you know, while you're eating your turkey, you can... Uh, Eat your turkey with the Foresters and the Logans. That would be cool. Um, oh, I guess no bold live next week. Thank you for reminding me, Soap Goddess. So I'm going to put together a um, a uh, uh, best of, or I don't know. I'm going to do some sort of thing. Oh, uh oh, somebody's coming in here. Who is this? Who is this? Help Hello, me, everybody. Help me. That's right. There's no hiding from me. It doesn't matter if his door's shut or not. I just wanted to say hi. Hey, hey, Kimberlyn, how are you? I'm well. Nice to see you. you. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. 
We're working here. late tonight. We're here. working late tonight. Here, sit down. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. All right. Well, no. thank you. I, I was, just had a photo bomb you. Oh yes. Well, it's good. To, we just we just had your son on here. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. My Tanner baby, was my here. Baby? Yes. Oh my gosh, he's amazing, isn't he? And I'm just telling everybody, can't give anything away, but I'm telling you about our cool Thanksgiving episode that airs Wednesday. Oh. It's I think it's what it's really fun. Won't give anything away. Don't give anything away. I'll let you go. But she may be in it. So bye, everybody. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye, Kimberly. Oh my goodness. You never know who's gonna pop in. That's that's uh. That's a, oh God. It's a, doing bold live. Okay, where was I? I I'm lost my train of thought completely. I am like, wow. Okay, that was a surprise. You never see, that's why you always gotta watch. You never know who's gonna pop in. Um. Oh, wait, I'm gonna try to call somebody. I don't think she'll answer, but let's see what happens. Let's see, I'll just put it out there. Um. So we've got that. Um, I don't know if I told you, uh, Chris Allen, who's going to be playing Dr. Taylor Hayes. We uh, did a photo shoot with her um, a week or so ago. So once she starts airing, we will be putting in uh, new uh, photos of her in the opening titles. Uh, you, I, I hope you all watched the talk. Do you guys watch the talk? Today was a very special episode of the talk on CBS where they uh, had the Soap Hub Awards. And uh, the Bold and Beautiful cleaned up with some Soap Hub Awards. So I hope you check that out. It was a really fun episode celebrating all of daytime soaps. And um, that's where Jacqueline McKinnis Wood had her big announcement that she is expecting a third child. That's really cool. We're all very, very pumped around here. Also, uh, quite a few people behind the scenes are expecting children as well. So there's a baby boom here at the Bold and the Beautiful. So uh, at some point we will, um, we, we shall have all our babies, or the people that are having the babies on the Bold and the Beautiful. That would be fun. All right, anybody got any questions? Oh, we got, so for those of you that st stuck around to the very end, we have a very, another special guest on the show. Hello, Annika. Oh, How's it no. going? Oh my gosh. You're on bold um, live. Well, I'm I'm also on my Instagram live at the same time. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this we're this is I the, This is a long day. I'm, I'm I yes, for those of you who are just joining us, I have been now in, in my dressing room waiting for my scenes for I think four hours. Four four hours. So I've resulted to to social media in and um <laughs> you're you're getting questions from people on my Instagram as well. Oh um, so I need to get on your um, Instagram. Yeah, so this was happening. I feel I felt bad though because I I didn't I don't want to crash Tanner's live. This is his moment to shine. I don't wanna I don't wanna crash this. This yeah. is this is all about Tanner today. No, he's everyone he's, isn't but, Tanner fantastic. This is, no, this is the after show though. This is the after party. Uh, wait, there's an after show? Yeah, yeah. So I have the show, and now we're now this is the after party. So okay, the after so party... this is like watch what what yeah, like watch yeah. what happens live, and then yeah. and then the part after that's only available. Yeah, but it's all one show. I just I just say like I just you know if you stick around, then we have the after party because I still have 140 well, people watching. So for everyone, here we go. Say hi, everyone. Oh, what is going on? I don't know if you can. Hi. That's all. That's hi. That's everyone on on the Instagram as well. But um, I am apparently finally you. You're my good luck, Casey. I'm apparently on um a two scene standby. So hopefully I okay, can, well, can get and go. A smile wants to know will we so. see Beth again? Yes, we will see Beth again. I was just talking about this on my Instagram live. Someone asked. Who's the one co-star you want to share scenes with the most? And I said, baby Beth, because I miss her and I haven't really seen her for a while. And I know part of that was, though, because of COVID protocols and, oh, yeah. and obviously wanting to protect right. everyone as best as possible. But, but I, these... I hope I hope now we we might get to see some baby Beth coming up with these holiday shows, though, too. She <laughs> is just so just she's growing up. Beth's growing up. She's so cute. <laughs> And it's awesome because it's still this, well, should I not yeah, say? Yeah. 
I should say. Don't you don't don't if you don't if you if you question it, don't say it. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. But I'm I love your look. I love the I love the sweater. It look I love this like you look Thank like you. ready for like uh the ski lodge. Yes, I know. I feel I feel my New England self coming out. I feel like I could give Taylor Swift a run for her money right now. All I oh. need to do is write a write a, a breakup, a 10 minute breakup song, and then we'll be good. And while so. you're here, I just want to wait. What? Wait. What? Huh. No. Hold on. All right. I'm gonna sign up on my Instagram live. Thank you so much. Go head over to YouTube live, and we'll talk there. Okay. Bold and beautiful YouTube live. Bye bye. Oh, oh. Um, uh, um, no, I just wanted to say also that uh, for those of you that follow Annika on her social media, you are doing something really special. You and Rena are rescuing a dog that was injured. So I just wanted to give you a moment to talk a little bit about that. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. I um I used to volunteer at the shelters, which is you know, it's tough to do. It's a, it's um you see a lot of really sad stories come in and out, and um, the dogs had been on lockdown because kennel cough was going around and the dog flu, so they couldn't have any visitors and no volunteers could visit, but they could post about the dogs. And so I saw this five month old chocolate lab, who somehow his leg was broken who ever was taking care of him didn't take care of it um he had been walking around on a broken leg for months it has healed broken um so i saw that and i was like reaching out to a bunch of people and yeah. you know who responded rena yeah. rena came through and she coordinated us getting him out of there he is living happily at her place right now. His name is Bear, which is so fitting because he's the sweetest little chocolate lab love bug. He is absolutely amazing. And uh, please keep him in your thoughts because um, he's having surgery on his leg, I believe, this weekend coming up. So, um, you know, hopefully he can start to have some of that pain alleviated and uh, he'll find a good loving forever home. So, well. Thing? Thank you. It means a lot. And if, and if you don't already, please adopt. Don't shop. Yeah. Don't buy, you know, animals are commitment. Don't just buy a dog as a present on a whim. Please be with them throughout sickness and health. Whether you move to a different building or not, they should be able to come with you. I've seen too many old dogs whose families were their entire lives only to be dumped at the shelter when they got older or because a building wasn't dog friendly and it breaks your heart. So please please love your doggies forever because they deserve it because they love us so much. Well, that's, um, <laughs> that's a good advice as we go into the holiday season too with animals yeah. and stuff for the season. Um, we had a $2, two dollar a donation from Thane Pullen. So uh, I, don't, I don't know if I said that right. Thane Pullen. Anyway, I'm going to make sure that goes towards Bear, the $2. So if anybody else Aww. wants to give while we're on a Kazan, we will, you know, you can, I don't know if people know that there's a, there's a, there's a donation, show your support for Bold and Beautiful. But if anybody donates or maybe we'll have you and Rena on to talk about Bear and maybe we can raise some funds so that he can get that surgery. That actually, I mean, if you, if you want to do that, I mean, obviously Rena and I are very grateful to be in a position where we can help him. So he's going to get the help. And, um, I think, I think if we were to raise funds, I would want to, that to go to a actual, like a rescue or something you okay. know, good yeah. like that. Because yeah. Yeah. That's true. We or actually, we, we, we also might, uh, try to purchase a, a wheelchair for him too. So, so we'll see, but, oh um, he's fantastic. And if you haven't checked him out, uh, please go to Rena's page. She has actually, I was going to post as I was sitting here, I was going to post some videos of when I visited him, but. Um, Rena right now has videos and some photos of him, and he's fantastic. So, go, so check, go check Bear out. He's check out uh, Rena Sofer's uh, Instagram or Annika's Instagram and see about Bear. All right. Well, so you said you have a two scene yep. standby. Yep, I think. Oh, they're in the cabin. I mean, yeah. Okay, wait. It's item item twenty. Where I live. Hey, hey, guys. Should I ask Casey when is when is hope when are we going to see that cabin bedroom again? Are we ever going to see that again? We saw it once. I know it exists. It I is a real thing. But that 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 cabin <laughs> living room and that that hard floor looks just so comfortable. You know, right there in front of the fire. I, why, I, why would you need a bedroom? 
I will say, and I, I know it's not a spoiler because people already know that we filmed the Christmas episodes recently and the Thanksgiving episodes. And um, it is it is so beautiful what the prop masters and, and the set and people like how, and not just our set, all the sets are just so beautiful in the attention to details that they do for the holidays. It's It's really nice to see. So hopefully, you know, we can get into the holiday spirit on Bold and Beautiful. That you're so very true. I uh, I will probably have some of the uh, art department on the show as we get closer to the holidays, so we can talk all about that. Yeah, build that up. That is actually a really great idea to do, like even behind the scenes cast and crew because they can. Well, that's what you, that's what the fans all want. The great they want to meet behind the scenes people. So we had Lisa on since it's her last day, and um, yeah. Oh. So they got she got this. I'm, I know. So I'm everyone gonna, got to meet Lisa. Everyone got to meet Lisa. Yep. We're very she's, excited. She's our she's our, our, our mama bear. Lisa's yeah. our den mother. We like to call her. She she's our, our mama bear. She watches out for us. I mean, she, there's been many days where she's been just you know that kind of maternal figure on set, and it's it's a very sad day that we're losing her. So yeah. But we're excited for her. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. I know. Oh, lots of good stuff here. Well, say hi to the fans <laughs> while they're commenting. Yeah, go ahead and read the comments. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This was completely unexpected. Um, just turns out I have a lot of time to kill in my dressing room currently. Casey took advantage of that and sent me a text with the link, and all of a sudden I'm on Bold Live. Around the um, world. Around the world. So if you have maybe one or two quick questions. I, I should be able to get them in before I finally get to go to set. Um, Philomena says I, you look I, I beautiful, be Annika. Answer them. Philomena says you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I <laughs> A lot of effort goes into I mean, I can never get my hair to look this good if it's just me. Casey knows. There was a moment in time where with COVID, we couldn't have hair. And it was... <laughs> It's not good for me. I don't know how to do my hair. I I just walk out and and never blow dry it or know how to use a curling iron thing. So thank goodness for hair and makeup. That's what I'll say. Um, Agreed. What happened to Thorns? Oh, Matt, is it? I'm I'm guessing yes. this is Matt, garbage fan. Yes, it's Matt. Yep. What happened to Thorns Malibu Beach House from back in the day? I think Hope needs to move there and get out of the cabin. Well, so that, that beach house, though, Matt, became like Macy and Deacons, and then Jackie Maroney lived there, right? So then I think we got it rid of it. So. Oh, they like broke it Yeah, down we had to everything. downsize, but that was, that was a good beach house, I think. Is that the right beach house? I don't know. There was a couple of different beach houses. Oh, remember where Darla and Thorne lived at? Matt has such a great memory. I, you know. Love him. Matt is fantastic. He he is um I mean at this point he should just be a consultant because he's such a vault of I of, agree. Uh, bold and beautiful encyclopedia. Um let's see. How are you oh, liking thank you. Love the sweater, love the hair. Yeah. Liam is too much of a schmuck for you, but it's coming from someone named Thomas. So I'm like, wait a second. Is <laughs> is Matt on here trolling us right now? Um, that's so great. Holding out. Oh wait. Whoa, they're going so fast What's now. What's the Dairy Queen commercial? Um, the Dairy Queen commercial is something I shot a long time ago. Where is this? When I still had never dyed my hair. That's my original hair color, and original everything. I filmed that. I want to say five, six years ago, maybe. And it ran a lot during Valentine's Day, and it was about the red spoon. So not only Tanner isn't the only one. Is this on Tanner YouTube? Tanner isn't the only one. I have to you find might it. be able to find it on YouTube. There also might be a Sleeping Beauty commercial. There might I have been a few did, ones. Wait, but... did you get to eat Dairy Queen during the commercial while you're shooting? Oh it? yes, and it was really funny because the guy opposite of me was like this, you know, handsome model actor type, and he's like, you know, using the spit bucket and spinning it out yeah. after every take, and I'm just sitting there like, oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> Just best day ever, best job ever. I uh, ate so much uh, ice cream cake that day. It was. Fantastic. I love Dairy Queen. Oh gosh. Yeah, I was. I was all about eating that cake. So, 
Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, it's Bold and Beautiful. Hey, Jaden. Bold and Beautiful's commenting. B&B cast and crew would love to go back, back to Australia whenever it's possible. Yes, please. Well, that's David Gregg, actually. Australia. The, the administrator is David. He's he's the one commenting. That's Hi, David. Hi, David. Yeah. Can I please come if we go to film in Australia? I've never been and I would love that. I would Actually, I was going <laughs> to have David come on just to say hello as we close this out. Because people wonder, who's our administrator? administrator who's talking by then that's david yeah that's david that's the man behind the bold and beautiful uh oh garbage fan my know, character got fun. out for good behavior i'm i'm out of prison i don't know why <laughs> you know i played yeah did you see i played a person in prison when liam and bill were in prison i don't know if you ever saw that i i yes I did. Yeah. You were on the basketball court, right? Oh, look. So here's David, everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, I, Annika. I did not realize it was possible to do multiple people on this. You can this. do up to four. It is. It is. I'm still here in my office working away on the international publicity of the bold and the beautiful. And uh, it's a big job. So, yeah, so everybody, it is a big David job. Greg. Hundreds our, of countries. He's our international publicist, and uh, he's he works with Italy and Australia and France and South Africa, and makes sure that they get all uh, Switzerland, all the countries, gets all the information. And in his spare time, he helps produce Bold Live. So, we just want to say. Oh, what si, to him. Il est... Aussi, David, il est très intelligent et il Aww. parle français aussi, uh, as well. And how many languages, can oui, you tell them how many languages do you speak? Because you speak, I've heard him, even though you say that you aren't fluent, I have seen you pull out of your pocket at least, I feel like, four other languages that you are very well versed in. J'ai habité huit ans en France, so I speak French fluently. Italian, hmm, Spanish, maybe, but and English, of course. But thank you, Annika. And Annika is making a big effort to speak French for our French viewers. So that's awesome. She did a promo for our French network yesterday for, for all the holidays. And all of you in France will be able to see that on RTL 9. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Annika. I hope, I hope it's okay. <laughs> David knows he saw me. This wonderful team came from, um, where was it? Uh, Switzerland. French speaking Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. And they came and I was having a great conversation with him, uh, the interviewer off camera in French. And he goes, can you answer some questions on camera in French? And I was like, okay. And then the minute the camera turned on and he started interviewing me in French. I got so nervous and j'oubliais tous les mots and I forgot all of it. No, <laughs> it Annika, you funny. were great. You were really, it was flowing. You're getting no. so much better at French. So keep working on it, keep working on it. Yeah. You're gonna get what is it. it? How do you say it? I try, I try. How do you je, say say. Like? je sais, je sais. Yeah. <laughs> Casey, how many languages do you speak? So, okay, one time when we went to Monte Carlo, I hired a French teacher so that I could communicate a little better with the crew because they all speak French. And uh, I, I couldn't get past bonjour. And she'd say, bonjour. And I go, bonjour. And she'd go, good, better. Bonjour, better. You know, so that I, I just, I could never. And then I would say, merci. Yeah, merci. And then, I, okay. So you really have, it's like how you say it. So. Needless to say, I, it didn't go over very well. It can, well, it some can of the, be make or break. Some of the fans from Quebec, there's a lot of them where they do speak French. They were saying that we should do a location shoot in Quebec City. And I that would be a really I'm down for that. Quebec go, City right? is the most beautiful yes. city I've ever, like, it feels like it's, I love in, Quebec City so much. When I but went in the city. summer. Have you ever been there, Annika? In the summer. I've been to Montreal. Um, yes. but I, I Montreal, would love to see more of Canada. Yes. I would love to. I love Montreal and yeah. the Quebec City are very special. And I had fun in Toronto. And yet, have you ever been to Toronto? I was like, where are all the stores? And then I went underground and I'm like, oh, here's where all the stores are. They're, they have all these underground passages. It's so cool. Because of how cold it is yeah. in the winter. I remember <laughs> like awesome I actually, oh, do you know McGill University? 
Hmm. I, I almost applied there and they actually have those underground tunnels for their classes and their classrooms oh, okay. to get to different places in the university because right. of how cold the winters can be. And I was about to say, when you're like, let's go in the summer, I was like, oh, I don't mind. I don't mind the cold sitting here in a sweater and my very hot dressing room, but like, <laughs> but, yeah. it would be great in any season. It would be magical at Christmas time. Oh yeah. So Even we'll fall, try to, I'm, let's, yeah, I'm sure. Well, they, David, uh, make it happen. happen. Let's go. Okay. Any of you fans <laughs> from uh, Montreal and Quebec city, email us at bold live. Let's give BB David mail. more to do. <laughs> Traveling, that's no problem. And so, so David right? uh, art directed an awesome photo shoot with a bunch of our cast, including you, Annika. So you got some new artwork coming out soon. I can't wait for everybody to see that. Mm -hmm. With the bangs. We have the fringe now. Yes. We have the, the fringe is part of it. We can't. Yeah. We can't say, uh, we can't show the photos, maybe, no. but we can say there's an orange pantsuit that rocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? One of them is like a little Stevie Nicks vibe, maybe a little bit. And um, what, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Oh, and then, and, then, and then the other one, actually, David, his inspiration for one of the shots was Adele's Vogue cover. Mm -hmm. So that's right. Take that for what you for what you will. So be on the so, lookout for that. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we are way over time on this after party. Uh, Annika, you have <laughs> nice to get to work. You guys. We're, they're still on item twenty three. You so. know, you heard that two. Yeah, you heard that two scene warning a while ago, and we're we're still oh here. Oh my so. god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's. For those, for those of our wonderful fans watching, um, today is an abnormally slow day and we are here later than we, we usually are and we'll probably go pretty late tonight. So, it's, it's, but we're trying to get well, all of it in before, plus before we had, the holiday season. So, we had new know. scenes added for a kind of a, a twist on a storyline coming up, which can't, you know, reveal, but that was a new, new thing that... Uh, it's always, we're always, we're always tweaking until the last minute. So that added a little bit more extra pressure to the day. But I think, wait, oh my gosh. So, wow, are you, wait, you were up earlier. Oh, you were working all, all this morning and you had to wait for these next scenes. Oh boy. Wow. That's a long Friday. At least you have all next okay. week off. What are you doing for Thanksgiving, Annika? Um, I think just uh, having a, a mellow one at, with, you know, at home with family. So it should be good. And um, catching up yeah. on sleep. <laughs> sleep, uh, reading, writing. Nice. Um, catching up on emails. I'm so, I'm that person who has 5,000 unread emails. I'm horrible and it's so bad. And I'm so sorry if things get lost there, but and, I and need to go a... through those and, and really actually mark them all and, unflag them and you know i know do in an italian an italian interview an interview yes. for it italy that's coming <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is actually there's your answer casey i am immediately going home and writing david's answers for an italian uh news david, journal I, how, so that, how dare you she needs time off and you're making her work oh you don't have to do that, Annika. It's okay. Mm -mm. No, it's okay. He, he, David's been very patient with me. We planned this. Um, Good. This so. whole thing was an elaborate ruse to tell you to do the Italian. To get Annika to answer those questions. Yeah. We're playing good cop, bad um, cop. Oh, how do I how do I say I'm I'm sorry in Italian, David? Um. Oh my God. See, I don't speak Italian that well. Um. Lo siento in French. That's I mean, no, that's in, in Spanish. Spanish. That's Spanish. I, was, I, could, I know Spanish. Though, I don't know. You say don't, don't français, c'est je suis désolé, mais uh, I, I don't. I, my I, my I, Italian is rusty. Mm, I have luckily, well, I don't know if I can say a company name, but something translate is very useful and very helpful, and I appreciate it. Um, and I would utilize that if I ever went overseas to visit. Des no, soleil. I, I just Des, looked it up on Google. Du soleil. Mi dispiace. Oh. What's Mi dispiace. Mi dispiace. Mi dispiace. 
It displeases me. Mi dispiace. Mi dispiace. I would love to learn. Oh, I'm doing uh, it in French. Sean You're doing it in Italian. Oh. Yes. Oh, je suis désolé is is uh, Oh, that French. was good. So, uh, that's good. Um, Wait, when you were in Monte Carlo, but, so you could speak French to everybody? I would I yes, I tried I tried as much as I could when oh. I was meeting with fans and that's awesome. finding things and we could we could converse a little. I think they actually were impressed because apparently I'm very grateful. I had a someone actually from Paris who was my French teacher. So my accent is actually apparently better than than most because I actually had a fluent um, French speaker, a native French speaker, teach me French. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I, I will get on those answers for you, David. And um, hopefully one day soon we at either Montreal. I mean, we've gotten so many. All my fans are always like, well, when are you going to go to Italy? When are you going to go to Australia? Right when are you, you know, so hopefully... I'll be able to travel with you all sometime soon because I I actually haven't gotten the opportunity and I would love to bond with everyone and get to travel together. That would be so much fun. Hopefully so, very, yeah. soon, very soon. We'll yeah, it's going to well, change soon, hopefully. Hopefully, yes. And in the meantime, thank you so much for inviting me to join you. It was an unexpected, lovely surprise. And I hope you both and all of our fans below has have a wonderful holiday season and yeah i i think i should get ready to finally finally no you've got time you you've got plenty of, you're not going anywhere you got plenty of time no i'm joking all right all right well, well david I'm, I'm gonna I'm say goodbye gonna to you be the professional and okay bye everybody thanks for time. watching thanks yeah. to all the fans for watching this show. all right bye david and bye, bye. Annika. Bye, thank you me. see you later all right well this was a fun show we're going to have to wrap this up. Thank you all for watching. Um, I want to also just uh, encourage everybody, if you want to reach out to me, you can um, uh, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, I'm at Casey Cass on Instagram or on Twitter. It's uh, Casey Kasperzik with that crazy last name. Um, please uh, send me a DM. Follow me. Uh, I'd love to connect with you and talk to you more and uh, maybe have you, uh, you fans on the show. Uh, if anybody would like to do that, let me know. I'd love to have you um, be a special guest. So until next time, so next week you're saying like, oh, well, what's next week's show? I'm going to put together kind of a, a clip show of all the bold lives that kind of the best moments and uh, kind of a best of recap and uh, maybe some surprises too. So so we have a little something to watch over the, the, the holiday weekend, but I will be off, so I won't be able to do that. But then in two weeks, we'll be back with a fresh bold live um, who's the guest? I don't know who the guest will be, uh, but we will announce that very, very soon. So um, make sure that you um, either follow us here on the YouTube channel or Bold Insider on Twitter or me on social media for that information. So until then, though, I'm going to uh, wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and remind you to be bold, be beautiful, and be back next week for a special uh, edition of Bold Live. And I wish you all a very, very safe, healthy, and happy Thanksgiving. So that's it. That's it, Katie.